So I guess the Ravens, they must have took Marcus Peters signing over with the Raiders a little personal. Because they were like, you know what? On the day that we lost, officially lost the cornerback that we used to have, even though they probably ain't even have no intentions of re-signing Marcus Peters this offseason. But still, even on the day that they lost a cornerback that had a lot of heart and wasn't afraid to be outspoken, call stuff out. The day that they officially lose him, they decide to bring in another corner who is also outspoken and not afraid to call things out. Now, initially when I first saw this report that the Ravens were signing Arthur uh, Mollette, I was naive to who he was. I mean, I knew he obviously played for the Steelers, but I was naive to his game and whatnot. But let's, let's read the report first and then we'll get into it. It says, it came from Cameron Wolf, uh, who works for NFL Network. It says, former Steelers cornerback Arthur Marlette is nearing an agreement to sign with the Baltimore Ravens per source. So I'm like, okay, corner help. We've been talking about corner for a long time and the fact that we feel like, hey, we don't, we, it's a lot of unknown there at the position when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens right now. That nickel corner, that slot corner role, who's going to fill it, who's it going to be, we just don't know. But the report also said uh, Marlette played a lot of slot cornerback and special team snaps for Pittsburgh for the last two years. And now he could play against the Steelers twice a year. So, boom, he played a lot of slot cornerback. You know what? That wasn't even a kicker for John Harbaugh. Harbaugh, he probably been looking for who's going to be that slot cornerback. And he probably knows this stuff. Obviously, he knows this stuff because he chose to sign him. But he played a lot of slot cornerback. But then the special teams part, that's when he was like, oh, bring me Arthur right here, right now. Now. With him being signed by the Baltimore Ravens, that getting ready to be official very, very soon, I don't think that automatically makes him the slot cornerback guy. I don't think it's a given that, all right, it's going to go to Arthur Marlette. It could. It may even be likely because he's been around for uh, a, a little while. Um, but because that's how he used to play for the Colts and the Jets and then, of course, the Steelers, too. So he's been around the game for a little bit, um, but I don't think it's a given that the job is automatically going to go to him. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, uh, when I looked up Arthur Mollette, because we were talking about heart, talk about being outspoken, talk about accountability earlier. The reason I bring those things up is because he made headlines last year in October uh, when the Steelers, they played the Buffalo Bills and the Steelers which obviously, especially as Ravens fans, we don't ever mind seeing, but the Steelers got whooped. They got whooped 38 to three. They scored three points on against the Buffalo Bills. And Arthur Mollette was somebody that was very, very upset, and he called out his teammates in the locker room. And he said that they, they needed to show that they loved the game. And that wasn't a display of it at all. I mean, you lose 38 to three. Uh, it don't look like you love nothing at that point. I mean, you got whooped that bad. You put up three points. Oof. Uh, we know Ravens done been there before quite a few times. But, yeah, he called them out. So that made headlines. That that was one of the biggest things I found about Arthur Mollette when I looked him up. And I appreciated that. I appreciated that because you, um, in anything that you do, uh, you need people to be honest with you. In my opinion, um, honesty, it, it just it brings out the best. Because if you have people, say for instance, you do anything, whatever it is that you do for work, for fun, whatever, and people are always telling you how great you are at it. Oh, you're great. You're great. This is great. This is awesome. This is amazing. But you never have anybody correcting you. You never have anybody. Hey, you need to do this better. Hey, or hey, you could do this better. Hey, maybe you should try to do this. Da, 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 da. If you never have that stuff, can you really get better at whatever it is that you do? If nobody ever challenges you. And, of course, respectfully, of course, because I know some people are going to take this and run with it. Oh, you suck at this. You suck at that. You're terrible at that. I mean, people do that regardless anyway. But so anyway, um, but yeah, so with him, that whole incident, which wasn't a big deal, uh, it's football. It's football. You need people like that. So while Ravens are getting a slot corner, while Ravens are getting a special teamer, while Ravens are getting extra help in the secondary, they also get in somebody who has experience with leadership. And leadership is something that cannot go. I mean, you can't underrate it because it's an important quality to have. It's an important quality, especially when you lead in a group of men. If you are with a group of men that not, I can't call it. I'm not calling the Ravens lost because they're not lost, but you can never have enough leadership. So this is a uh, I'm with this move. I'm cool with it. And it's really a we'll see. 
We'll see. I ain't penciling him in for, all right, well, we got a slot cornerback now. We'll see. That's what training camp is for. That's what training camp is all about. It's about that competition. It's to see who is going to win the jobs, who's going to take over these roles, who's going to establish themselves as the guy for whatever the job may be. For the slot cornerback role, for the nickel cornerback role, for safety, for left, right corner, outside corners, pass, everything. We ain't got to go down the whole list of all the different spots on the depth chart and whatnot. We ain't doing that, but y'all get what I'm saying, man. Now, team keep it clean. I um did not tell you. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Leave a like on the video and turn your notifications. I, I, I told you I be warning y'all, man. I really do. I be warning you. I, I told y'all it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. This is video number four today. Today. Subscribe and turn your notifications on so you never miss. And leave a like on the video too. So YouTube, like I told y'all in the previous video, leave a like on the video so YouTube knows that you're a little bit crazy because you got to be a little bit crazy to watch this channel, especially if you watch this channel consistently. You got to be a little bit off. You got to be because I'm a lot of bit off. So if y'all sitting here watching stuff that I got to say about these Ravens, oh yeah. And if you're a Ravens fan, you got to be off anyway. So it, you, you can't be no sane person and be no Ravens fan. You, do you watch these Ravens play? Do y'all remember all them games, how crazy all of their games always are? Good or bad, they always bring craziness with them. Ravens don't, they hardly ever win or lose in a calm manner, ever. That's just not what they do. So, yeah, man, you, you got to be a little loony to, to be a Ravens fan and a lot of loony to watch this channel. But I love y'all loony people. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to Looney Tunes. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate y'all though a lot. I, I really do. So, Hey, welcome aboard, Arthur. I wonder what number he gonna get. Well, I mean, that ain't important because he could have a number now in training camp, but then once the roster get down to 53 men, somebody will lose that number, he could take this. Well, y'all know how it goes. But yeah, the competition is heating up. You know what's funny? I always talk about how timing is everything. We had just recorded an episode of Question from Subscribers talking about this very, very, very topic. Well, we talk about a bunch of other topics as well, but this very topic um, was the... The main topic or the starting topic of the video talking about the slot cornerback role uh and we're probably gonna drop that tomorrow so y'all can look out for that video but i just thought that was funny it's like we talk about it in the video that we recorded that we're gonna drop later tomorrow probably and then boom they sign somebody as a slot corner now again there's still all darius washington there's still maybe Jalen norman davis but there's pepe williams but he's on the, the pup list right now um, there's obviously they could kick Marlon Humphrey in sometimes, so that and he obviously did a great job as a slot corner. But I mean, not to say he can't do it, but you're, you're paying him to be an outside corner. You're paying him to take care of the outside wide receivers. So you want to have a guy dedicated to that role. Like last year, they tried with Kyle Fuller, and a lot of Ravens fans were thinking, oh, maybe they might bring Kyle Fuller back. We don't know where he is with the status of his uh his injury. That he sustained on the Jets field last year in week one. We don't know what his status is. Um, so we don't know how his recovery is or anything like that. I'm sure the Ravens got all of that information. But they decided to go in a different route. So it's Ravens have a lot of cornerbacks right now. They have a lot. Like, and everybody ain't gonna be able to make the team. Like Marlon Humphrey, obviously a lock. Um Rocky Scene, lock. Caillou Blue Kelly, lock. You got Jalen Norman Davis. You got Pepe Williams. You got Ardarius Washington. You got Brandon Stevens. Uh, you got Trayvon Mullen. You just signed Arthur Mollett. So you, it's a lot of coins. You're not going to keep all of them. So some decisions are going to be made. Some people are going to get stashed. Some people are going to go on IR or whatnot. Some people are going to go on different, all type of thing. You know how it goes, man. It's going to be a lot of transactions uh, over this next month yeah month it's gonna be a lot of transactions because today is uh all i'm tripping i'm over here fast forward in a month today is july uh 24th so in a month from now it'll be super close to when it's cut down day and they're not doing the cut downs piece by piece they're doing from 90 to 53 all at once so on all on the same day, a lot of people are going to be losing their jobs, losing their dreams and being told, yeah, you may never play in the NFL again. And that's a very harsh reality, man. Again, one percent of people make it. 
That's why you can never say, oh, the people that's on the team, you can never say, oh, this guy sucks. Oh, this guy's terrible. Oh, he's a bad, nah. The, it, nobody makes it to the NFL, man. 1% of people make it to the NFL. 1% of people. It's people that go out there, they, they get special training, they get in all these special classes and whatnot, these special programs and whatnot. They put so much money into it and effort and practice and all this stuff, and they don't even make it. So it's, it's, it's a, the 1%. So again, that's just a little reminder to just not call somebody sorry. Oh, this player sucks. He's terrible. No, he ain't sorry. Some unfortunate circumstances may happen. Injuries may happen. Or they, the ball may just not bounce his way in the league, but they made it there for a reason, man. So that's that. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Arthur Millette officially told the Steelers today, I'm out.